Okay, so I've seen a lot of people do the LBRP, and I'm not going to say that they're doing it wrong, but I think that I'm see what I'm noticing in a lot of videos that demonstrate the LBRP is the lack of vibration in the sense of actually creating what in, in choral music is known as vibrato. So the, the important thing about this is that there's a difference in tone when you just sing oh versus when you sing oh you see the difference there's just one's just like a flat tone oh and then the other one actually allows that little lilting up and down oh and you can see this kind of exaggerated in um operatic stars oh like that you don't want to go that far it's just kind of it gets kind of silly and indulgent after a certain point but at any rate I'm going to try my best uh, to record this really quickly. So I'm just going to be following the technique as I learned it from Donald Michael Craig. Um, and then I'm going to uh, demonstrate it. Okay, so this is from my point of view. So I'm just going to quickly ground. Emphasis and feeling on the feet. Bringing up, I choose to bring up chi energy as part of this. And then I sort of do the visualization to make myself bigger, 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 bigger. And then uh, as I actually make the motions, I'm going to try to hold the phone like closer to me. So you'll see it from my point of view, okay? But we're facing east right, east right now. So I, what I do is I bring the ball of energy, you know, which in this case is above my head. And, you know, I sort of visualize that, imagine it coming from infinity. Again, this is the Donald Michael Craig method. And just, you know, imagine myself getting bigger so everything, the entire galaxy and universe sort of comes down to my feet. And then visualize that ball of energy coming down. I'll just go ahead and show it from this point of view. Uh, So this was the Kabbalistic cross, hopefully you caught all that, but at any rate, right shoulder for Gibura, left shoulder for Gidula, and at each of these points, using his technique, you're just sending out energy into the cosmos that's coming down from the divine, from Keter, which is the crown. And when I do Leo Lama Amen, and uh, when I do Malkut, I send the energy down through my feet. When I do Leo Lama Amen, this is actually a subtle thing that has helped me out is doing some heart work, allowing that energy to sort of suffuse itself and deepen itself within the heart center. So then, uh, uh, the point of view, here's where I begin the banishing. So whenever you do a banishing, so you start at the lower left, you come up to top, which is spirit. So from the earth position to spirit, down to fire, and then you go on and complete the pentagram. Okay, so real quick, earth, spirit, fire, and complete the pentagram. Okay, so for this part, what I do is uh, I visualize the uh, actual pentagram that I'm as I draw it. So I go and I there are different a couple different ways to do this. One is to actually um, start. Uh, not not actually say the name of God until you've actually completed the pentagram. I don't do that anymore. I used to, but I don't. I j it's just way easier and keeps the flow going. Start at the lower left and go like this. And by the way, there's different there's questions about pronunciation on this too. Um, Jehovah versus Yo yeah you know Yod -Heh Vav -Heh, which is more. Uh, respectful in some Jewish traditions, you don't speak the name of God, that particular name of God. Um, there's also Yehoah, but some of this is linguistic differences. I, uh, I've i found helpful using Damon Brand's particular pronunciation, which is Iaoe, so I'm just going to use that. The rest of these are kind of standard, but here we go. So I say so 
So both my hands uh, thrust forward. You can't see that, but you know, I start here, and then of course, you know, the other ear. You know, I use both hands, and then sort of thrust through like that. So then I take the top of that pentagram that I've just drawn. It's I'm still imagining it flaming, and then I come over here. I rotate around, and now I'm facing south, and I do the same thing this time. I just change the name of the, go the god, or the name of god, I should say, and I say, oh, by the way, this is my note game table. Um, so I just change the name of the god, and I just once again draw the pentagram, exact same pentagram. This is an earth banishing pentagram, but because it's the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram, you're just going to make the exact same uh, earth pentagram. The earth sort of is a stand-in for all four of the elements in this ritual. The more advanced rituals actually give you the full thing. So, uh, give you the, the different, um, pentagram names. So at any rate, or, uh, forms, I should say. So then I start down here, and once again, I'm just gonna vibrate. This time, the name of God is Adonai, so I go, Adonai. We're gonna do the same thing, this time to the west. The name of the god for the West is L for the LBRP. Once again, connecting that same energy. I pop with a nice, beautiful white line. Eventually, we'll get a nice circle. So the name of God is L. E see the camera kind of moving and with my left hand because that's what that's this is basically the left hand position of this so then once again I do one more this time the name of God is Agla Agla. and then I come back and I connect it so this is basically the golden dawn form so then the last thing I do I come out with my right hand, and by the way, you don't actually need to use a knife or a dagger or anything like that. You can just visualize it and sort of intentionally set it. You might choose to have the finger up, but regardless, you know, this is how I do it. And then I do the same thing. I sort of extend it in, so it looks like this. So you'll see it like this. And then I just visualize. I visualize the archangels. Before me, Gabriel, at my right shoulder, Mikael, and at my left shoulder, Uriel, above me, Metatron, and below me, Sandalfo. The pentagrams, and within me shineth the six rayed star. And as you can see, I was uh, using um, Damon uh, Brand's edition of Metatron and Sandalphone. I don't go quite as far as like adding the. Um, the uh, planetary archangels you could do that but i just can't quite seem to think of a, a good reason to add that at this point but metatron and sandalphon definitely and as you start getting into the middle pillar ritual already starting to vibrate those names if you haven't done that already it, it, it starts that connection so it's probably a good idea to just start doing that if you haven't done the lbrp yet Okay, but you can see the importance of, of that little, not a moderate vibrato, not exaggerated like you would see with, um, with opera, but what, what you would just typically get uh, from, from just a, a loose vocal cords and just allowing that minor vibration. It's a natural vibration without controlling it too much, but without making an effort to let it just go crazy. Okay, so then we just finish with the same Kabbalistic cross. Atomalkut Vegibura Vegdula Liolama Main 
so this isn't really like the best, um, my best performance of that ritual. Um, but you, you, it, get, it gets you the idea about what's necessary. Now, one quick thing. What, why am I so insistent on, on doing that and making that vibrato? I, you know, there, there are a lot of other people who do that. And that's fine. You know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not discounting what they're doing at all. But for me, the reason why is that when I have found, for me, doing this ritual is that making that vibrato sound actually causes something to go on clairaudiently which is the only way I know how to describe it. I've tried describing it to people and the, the best I've tried to tell people about what I actually hear is I hear a sound that's kind of like what you would get from, uh, it's some uh, physics machine that actually picks up or that actually um, creates uh, uh, tones, kind of like a wub 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 like that, except it, it's, not, it's not exactly like that, but it's kind of mixed with um, the sound of shattering glass, but it's, it, I have no other way of describing it except to say it's like a mishmash of those two sounds. Now, it's, it's, I, I'm already hearing the voice in my head, the inner skeptic saying, well, isn't that just the same thing as overtones? No. Overtones are when you get an octave and a fifth, I believe, higher. Uh, if you get a very, very good sound um, in which to do singing in, and I mean, this is just a regular bedroom, you know, no offense to the bedroom, but it, that's all it is. And I, and I, ju I just know the difference. I've been through choir. I've been to, I've been to, when I was in high school, I did all state choir. I could hear those kinds of overtones that, that really come from the building itself because there's just such great resonance from the singers that actually causes that, that octave and, and a fifth higher. Uh, but it's not the same. This is that, you know, it's it's just completely not the same. Anyone wants to ask me about it, feel free to, you know, comment, uh, make a make a note in the comments. But I just really wanted to emphasize the importance of, of making that vibration uh, in the notes. And I guess I gave you an entire LBRP as I do it. Um, th this, there's some variations on it. It's not the exact original Golden Dong thing. But um, anyway, I hope that's helpful. Thanks a lot.